obvious that the abolition of the nuclear family is what got us to a place where 13 year olds murder Uber Eats drivers. Like, well, who could be for that? Exactly. That's why once people nobody say, cares about that about poor this, Uber Eats about guy. About that used to be on their website. They used to have it on their website that getting rid of the nuclear family was part. They had a lot of other stuff about trans acceptance and phrases like hetero. If it doesn't fit the narrative, it doesn't, it isn't news. Uses or is worried about. It's pretty clear that BLM, you know, they say Black Lives Matter, but it's really an LGBT extremist organization. That, that's, that's Asian Lives Matter. Um, but they're not, they're not worried about the average family. And, you know, 70 percent we have we have to understand 70 percent we we hear these figures so often that they just kind of maybe it just it just it just you know we we, <laughs> we don't realize the significance of but 70 tucker always has a befuddled uh, huh? this is what happens as a result look on his face yeah i don't i don't huh? think any with black what like an arm of google and Citibank to me but you know prove me wrong <laughs> matt wall great to see you today thank you for your clarity as always thank you so New York went from this, you know, such a violent place that people didn't want to live there to this amazing city, this jewel, our biggest city, and in some ways our greatest Nobody city. wants to live there. But the trend has reversed in the last year. Violent crime has been steadily uh, rising. The shootings in New York City are up 40% this year. If I could the move away from here, I would. If I had the money, I'd leave here in a heartbeat. Year. 